Hint is of violent content. Parental discretion is advised. Bye, 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 bye. Genius Brian Katie, my broadcast partner RJ DeLuise will join me in just a moment. We got a heck of a show coming up for you with our main event coming up later on. It's going to be an interesting triple threat match as the two man sons go at it Captain Wino and the good Travis Dorian, as well as the thriller of New England, Christian Casanova, as he made his debut in that contest. But before we get to that, a triple threat tag team match to kick things off here on this show. The amazing Graysons, the distinguished gentlemen, and the dynasty return of South Philly's finest. Introducing team number one. At a total combined weight of 415 pounds. Son of Scranton, the man Johnny Moran. And old school Eric Martin, the world class gentleman. on the sly, not even we were aware of this uh, triple threat tag team matchup. I don't know if the rules are elimination or if it's one pinfall to a victory here, but my guess is the first tag team to secure a victory will be the winner here tonight, but I have no idea. I'm just going on the fly here because I'm baffled as you are, but Mike King apparently, like I said, pulled all the strings and now a, uh, well, he turns into a triple threat tag team yeah. match 
as Luca Bronsky and Jimmy Conway making their long-awaited return to upstate New York for Dynasty Pro Wrestling. They are certainly uh, a rambunctious pair, so to speak. Very outspoken. A lot of anger. I wonder if something happened to them as kids that made them this way. They're just vicious, vicious men. He's, he's just dropping an elbow in the middle of the ring. I, I think he was very angry by the accusation he, he, he there. Had a, he, had a, he had an Amish-looking Ric Flair moment. That was kind of weird. I, 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 I guess... Goodness gracious. All right, well, uh, let's see who, who starts off this contest. It looks like a member of the uh, the team I, I'm not sure of. And, and now it looks like uh, Jimmy Conway will start off this contest, representing South Philly's finest. Let's see if we can get a bell. And yes, we can. We're on our way. In this triple threat tag team match. An, an abrupt triple threat tag team match, by the way. Jimmy Conway starting things off, representing South Philly's finest. The world class gentlemen also making their debuts here. Okay. And now Conway tags in Luca Brazzi instead of actually starting the match. By the way, as far as the world class gentlemen are concerned, the slightly shorter of the two. No, no offense taken, hopefully. I hope not. Son of Scranton, the man Johnny Moran, the slightly taller one, old school Eric Martin. As Al Brazzi looking to get into a test of strength. And nice amateur wrestling takedown maneuver. And now armbar. The armbar applied now, reversed out. And nice reversal. Chain wrestling in the middle of the ring here. Now a potential rope break. Oh, not a rope break. Nice front flip and reversal. Now to a hammerlock, now a side headlock. Now back into the wrist lock, and now a tag. And off the ropes, nice double axe handle onto the forearm area of Luca Brazzi. And now another armbar, another wrist lock being applied here. And now see some great tag team must to start things off here. You gotta like the keeping the man in your corner and back to back quick tags working the arm. And again the quick tag. Continuing to use that arm. And now a double team maneuver. Oh, but Brazzi flips out of it, tags in Conway. And now Jimmy Conway is going to make his way in. And oh, it takes double hip toss. And now double elbow. And a nip up from both gentlemen. Now the leg drop from the legal man. And now the cover, hook of the leg, just a one count. Conway kicks out. Tagging it whoever oh. you want here in this triple threat matchup. That's right, it is. You can tag anyone you want in this triple threat rules match. And now old school Eric Martin representing the world class gentleman gets in. And a world class and now, forearm it looks to like the Jimmy Conway's having words with this fan ringside. Meanwhile, Martin runs into a drop kick and a quick tag again. I tell you, this 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 team of this pair of youngsters, they are really doing some tremendous ring work so far. Chain wrestling, great tag team wrestling overall with the quick tags. And now Martin reverses into a front face lock, and now the hook can't get the suplex reversed. Oh! Face first into the mat, cover, and a kick out at the count of two by old school Eric Martin. Well, I like this new team debuting here in uh, Dynasty Pro Wrestling here tonight in Chapter 2. Definitely have speed, athleticism, yeah. definitely uh, has some kind of experience together just by the chemistry being showed with the, the double team maneuvers, with the quick tags. Obviously, they've been doing some great work around the areas. Now, old school Eric Martin looking to take advantage of the distraction. That's an old that school scoop, scoop and a slam. slam. And a tag now into the man, Johnny Moran, representing the other half of the world-class gentlemen in this triple threat tag team match. A uh, scoop up and a, oh, backbreaker right across the right knee. And now Moran uh, flexing and getting a two count. Oh, a drop kick for good measure. And now Martin, oh, I think he was going for a running knee, but it was missed, and now a little spine buster. I'm not sure that that's a legal pin, but it was counted. And Martin rolled out for the count of two. Meanwhile, South Philly's finest, they're, uh, I guess you could say taking the smart way right now. And well, trying to stay out of the matchup. That's what I would do here in Triple Threat. No reason to oh, let yourself get beat up in a running spear I through the middle rope. Did Jimmy Conway tag in? Actually, no, he I tagged I don't think Martin. so. He was outside Martin of the ring at the time. Martin is not the legal so. man, technically, I don't think. So, 
I do believe Johnny Moran was the legal man, but now Luca Brasi in the ring, so I don't know what's going on here. South Philly's finest making their own rules. And oh. That's how they do it in Philly. A little two-man slice bread action there between Luca Bronson and Jimmy Conway. Excellent teamwork by the veteran tag team. And now clothesline to Bronson. Conway rolled up. Two. Kicked out at two. Oh, and a big clothesline for his troubles. Well, Conway in control now, taking this new tag team to their limits. But he's the one tossed to the outside. Now Conway tossed out. Now Bronson shoving the world class jumping aside. Oh boy. Uh, five men outside. One man inside. He's clapping his hands. We know what that usually means in wrestling terms. Oh dear God Almighty! Oh, suicide dive over the top. Somebody I think hit their leg on the stairs on the way out. All oh, six men on the floor here at Albany. Well, what a dangerous maneuver. Suicide dive onto the outside onto all five men. Goodness gracious, it is carnage. It's a car wreck here at the Boys and Girls Club. And now, it looks like Jimmy Conway, one of the first two to get to the feet, and now chops being exchanged. And now Luca Brazzi also up. World-class gentlemen working their way to their feet a little bit. Just back and forth, chops all over the place right now as Brazzi's rolled into the ring. Standing mid-ring and takes a splash off the top rope. Oh, but Conway reverses into, I think he's trying to get a cross face. Yes, he does. A cross face applied by Bronzy. And now, will it be a tap? No, no tap. Well, he had to get involved there to protect his partner and break up that submission maneuver. Conway now complaining about the cutoff. He may, I gotta say, for as hated as he is, he kind of has a point. That wasn't illegal. That was not legal. That, that was but you gotta do anything you can to stay alive in a tag team matchup, Brian Katie. You know how it is. It's gotta be done once in a while here to stay relevant in Dynasty Pro Wrestling. And now dragging him into the corner, but. Ring wing awareness, dragging oh. his opponent to the corner as he tags Jimmy Conway, but Conway gets uh, uh, insecurity for good measure in the midsection. And now a tag. And Conway. Excellent athleticism from this team. Receiving multiple drop kicks and now slung in. World class Conway. gentleman resting on the outside, utilizing the strategy that South Philly's finest was using earlier, taking a break from this matchup to regather their thoughts and to plan a strategy for how they're going to win this oh. matchup and a big boot. That was a big boot by Jimmy Conway. And now he takes out world class gentlemen one by one. First Moran, then Martin. And now. Conway setting up his man in the middle of the ring. It looks like he's trying to apply a sharpshooter of sorts. And oh, stiff kick to the chin of Conway. Oh, and he knocks Bronzi down as he backed into the ropes. Well, Bronzi not the legal man, and still Conway. Conway is dazed and confused, throwing punches in the corner. Oh, now drops his head to the. Bronzi, though, being smart, keeping his, all his weight down low, holding the rope. And now he headbutts his opponent back down to the mat. Bronzi in one corner, Conway in the other. Bronzi back up on the top rope, he flies. Nice splash by Bronzi, cover, two. And now the, the cover's reversed. Oh, and a boot to the face by Conway, wow. making sure to protect his man now. This is Dumping literally- Dumping one man to the outside, taking the other. Kick to the midsection. This is a train wreck right now, as now Conway, now going for what he was going for earlier, Hooks the legs like a sharpshooter. Oh, and a frog splash by Bronzy. And a flip over to the sharpshooter by Conway. And he has got all his weight buried down on the small of the back. Oh, and a writhing in pain. Can he get to the ropes? And now Conway drops down. Applying the pressure more on the legs and the back. And Barely now a rope able break. to get to the ropes. But he'll have to break up that submission maneuver. South Philly's finest making quite a impact here early on. Looking to win this all-important matchup in front of this packed house here at the Albany Boys and Girls Club. Chapter 2, All Hail the King. World-class gentlemen are occupied on the outside as Bronzi's tossed out. All oh, small package. Two. Oh, it's over. It's all over.
definitely a very interesting back and forth contest in that triple threat tag team match. Uh, coming up next on a very interesting main event that has a shocking ending to it between Captain Wayno, the good Travis Dorian, and the dynasty debut of the thriller of New England, Christian Casanova. Stick around, Adrenaline. The main event is next. We're going to have you do your best pose for the camera for the folks here at Albany, New York. So, you got a few seconds to do whatever you got to do to do your best pose. Do a pose. Flex your butt. This is what you want to do. Do whatever kind of pose you want to do.
Well, we haven't introduced this man, but he is, I know him. It's Christian Casanova, the thriller of New England. And he has come out here, I guess, to do his own pose here to kick off the second half of action at Chapter 2, All Hail the King. And Brian Katie, things obviously are reaching a fevered pitch with Mr. Man, Travis Dorian, and yourself and your attempts to try to keep them from mistreating Insano Wayno. And I, I, I don't know what this is going to mean for the, the Man family. With all due respect to Christian Casanova, I respect his work ethic, I, expect his, I respect his ability. The real core of this issue is Travis Dorian and Captain Wayno is apparently we're going to have ourselves a well, this is turning into a match. I thought he was going to come out match. here and I thought he was going to thought he was going to flex a little bit and maybe oh oh big kick from Wayno but I gotta say again I mean this, well, the, the way that Mr. Man and Travis Dorian have treated Captain Wayno calling him insane Wayno belittling him being physically abusive towards Wayno it's just absolutely ridiculous what's been going on over the last year plus here at the dynasty and it sickens me it just sickens me right to the core and every fiber of my being it's just ridiculous as like I said Christian Casanova not some bad dance wow, moves teach, teaching some moves to Captain Wayno teaching him how to shake his groove thing out there and, and this is the kind of respect we like to see of Captain Wayno but Christian I Casanova I, 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 Trying to work with Captain Wayno and show him if he's... Don't oh. take his cape, though! Oh, well, that you can't do. You don't take his cape. No. Nope. What do you, you want? What do way. you want? You have a match right now. Oh, here comes Why Travis. are you sitting down? Well, the oh, coach Travis, Travis Dorian has sat down next to me. Travis Dorian, flexing perfection. I think he's perfection. getting increasingly uncomfortable here at ringside. Why? 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 Why are you sitting here? Why are you sitting here? And now you here comes Mr. Man. Right I, don't, I don't like you any of this. You have a wrestling match right now. Well, it is what? a triple threat match, but Travis Dorian not involved in the decision at this point because he's not even involved in the matchup. He's sitting next to us ringside. It's just Wayno in, in there with Christian Casanova. And Mr. Man directing traffic, sending Wayno back in the ring. Christian oh, now Casanova wanna, now, now, now throwing wanna, oh, oh, just oh, oh, big oh, oh, oh. shoulders. And you see Flexion Perfection with his Don't look like a footstool. Don't look like a footstool. Thank you. Don't look like a sexual couch. One big section. Wow. You look like a sectional couch, but only one big section. Wow, strong words from Listen, Travis Dorian. Why, why don't you do your job? I'm trying to do mine over here and call this match. Why don't you do your your, your, your job? Why don't you get in the ring and actually fight like a man? I say I'm sitting here like a coward, like a pansy. Because I need to come out here and do your job. You're not even talking about me. You're insulting me all the damn time. Of course, of course I'm not talking about you. You're not doing anything. You're just sitting here. You're just sitting here when you should be in the ring doing your job wrestling. Anyways, Captain Wayno is taking advantage of Christian Casanova here. And a uh, miss of the leg drop by Wayno. This is ridiculous. Why are you not wrestling? And why is why is he why is he constantly getting on the case of Captain Wayno? This is absolutely insane. Let me look at this. He catches Casanova in midair. Clearly has some strength to him. And I put in the uh -oh. fireman's carry. And a flat check. I mean, so we I, saw yeah, it. I we did saw. see that, but you shouldn't. Things you, are you getting, shouldn't claim ownership of someone they don't even treat like a real son. Things are getting very personal here. Why are inside. you yelling at him? Stop yelling at him! So Brian Katie has been advocating on behalf of Wayno now for a number Get of months. Get out of the damn ring! Yeah, what is Mr. Man doing? Now, Dorian sneaks in and... Well, we got to announce it, Katie. I don't know if we got to do this. And now what is this? Well, Mr. Travis Man Dorian had nothing to do with this matchup. He just sat here berating Katie ringside, and now he jumps in the ring after Mr. Man throws oh, out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What? There's no reason for this. And this now needs to stop. Dorian is jumping with Captain Wayne. This is ridiculous. This is insane and absurd. How do you call yourself a father? How do you call yourself a father? A neck breaker this is by ridiculous. Travis Dorian. You should be berating. I'll ring the damn bell when I watch you, all right? I'll ring the damn bell. What I have going on in my family in that ring. You made it my business when he put his hands on me and got in my face and when you took the microphone from me. Oh, you didn't see that. Oh. Brian Katie getting in the face. Oh, shoving Mr. Man. Knocking Mr. Man's hat off. 
throwing his cane. Brian Cady involving himself in this family feud, if you will. And now here comes Travis Dorian. Oh, club to the back. And now just stopping. We need a referee out here. We need somebody out here. Come on, guys. Come on. Cut it out. Cut it out. He's not a wrestler. Stop it. He is not a wrestler. Cut it out. Get off of him. He's not a wrestler. Stop it. Somebody check on him. Somebody check on him. Somebody check on Brian Cady, will you please? No, you get out of here. Brian Cady is down face first. Well, Captain Wayno going over. We have people checking on Brian Cady here, and I. Uh, this was. This was unbelievable. I. Brian Cady is a broadcaster. He is not part of the Dynasty Pro Wrestling roster. He is not meant to wrestle here. He is here to do commentary with me and ring announce. This is unacceptable behavior from Travis Dorian and Mr. Man. I, I don't know what to make of this. We, we need help here. We need help for Brian Cady. Can we get somebody out here, please? Well, obviously, a very interesting and surprising way for things to end with this episode of Adrenaline. But anyways, don't forget to tune in next time in which you'll see Wolfgar versus Sonny Kiss. And then the match everyone's still talking about. The elite athlete Mike Orlando one-on-one -on -one with Ring of Honor's own Dalton Castle. That's coming up next time on Adrenaline.